What's happening, Panda Nation? Peter Von Panda here. If you have a rifle and it doesn't fit in your case, this might help. Now, this is really just going to be an unboxing and first uh, look video because if I put it on anything and show you that, it becomes an assembly video, which is why if you look back at some of my other videos, they are now gone. No demonetization, no warning, just they are uh, plain old deleted and not available. So, um, and as you know, this is not... Uh, heavy on recreational and, you know, uh, sport hunting content. Nonetheless, we get lumped together. Anyway, hey, this is from Fab Defense. It's Israeli, and it's the AGF 43S folding pistol grip. And what's really cool about this, you can see, is it looks like uh, many of your standard ergo grips wanted to take a close look at it here because I've seen a lot of general videos but wanted to give you a very close overview of it um, and what's really interesting about this is that combined with my law tactical folding stock and the short uh, barrel on pistols and things like that I think something like this could actually be really useful so one of the issues that I have is with case sizes and even though you can shorten up um, say your pistol or your firearm or your rifle, whatever, and even with the law of tactical folding stock, fold it up, now it gets really short. But it's the top to bottom height that really becomes a problem. And in some ways, it's the top to bottom height because of optics and whatnot that you can't really move. They have to really be statically mounted because you don't want them to lose zero. But down here on the pistol grip where uh, Fab Defense has decided to create a folding one, I think actually could be really nice because you can see here, we will probably eliminate maybe three inches of uh, real estate on the bottom of the, the rifle. If you have a magazine or something like that, you're gonna have to remove that too. But this could really actually mean that it fits into a lot more carrying cases, even um, backpacks and, and things like that. If you use something like this in a vehicle, you know, any kind of close quarters, um, something like this might be nice for moving around. Now, first of all, I want to say it's a very hard and th thick plastic. It's very heavy. It feels like a really nice uh, piece of hardware. I think part of this is because there's a metal uh, pivot point fulcrum in here, but it just feels pretty nice. Now, a couple things that I've noticed that people have said is that there's a little wiggle in it, so I'm going to look closely at that. We have a nice raised beaver tail here, so if your hand is going under here and you're worried about it going up and, and not having enough support, that's kind of always nice to have that. Um, I really have liked those on the, like the mag poles. You can see here it's very nicely contoured. We're going to take a really close look at this. Obviously, everything in here is standard attachment, so you would have uh, the screw go in through there. You would have your uh, detent spring and detent in there. So that all looks pretty standard. And the other thing that people have talked about too is with this kind of big push button, this metal button here, which is what's gonna help or allow you to deploy it. It might be getting in the way, but I'll tell you what, if I put my hands on this, and I have medium sized hands, I don't even think my thumb will touch it. Now it's a fairly sharp, you know, you can see it's not a like beveled edge there, but uh, even so, it's round, so even if I do brush it, you know, I mean, I, I suppose if I really kind of put my finger in it or something like that, I could kind of hurt it. But even when I'm moving around like this on a bare hand, uh, it's not a problem. Now, again, you know, over time or if you're using this a lot and getting vibration or carrying it a lot, maybe that's going to be a different issue. You can see we have finger grooves here. I know a lot of people complain about them because when they don't line up perfectly, you know, people are like, oh, they're not comfortable. I will say that this is probably a big hand finger grip. You can see here, my medium sized hands, my fingers don't go really all the way around it, but they feel nice. I actually like finger grip grooves because even if I'm not using them all, right? I mean, it just gives me more purchase on it. it I don't have to worry about the grip sliding up and down per se. It just kind of holds in more. You can see we have some nice texturing on there. I do like it. It's not overly grippy, but it is a little like sandpaper concrete like texture. We have that same texture right here on the back and then some uh, pretty shallow striations on the side here. You can see we have a little cut right here, which is what I was wondering what that was for. And it looks like that's to get to the release there for the um, for this bottom door. So I'm just going to pop that and see if that's the case. You can see here it's fully covered and you actually have to put a little pressure on that to get it off. So you've got it hinged right here. Looks like there's a pin in there. And then that's where you will um, assemble this sucker. You'll have to have your own screw or use the screw that um, the standard mounting screw looks like that uh, you're going to use when you're building your your um, your 
rifle or pistol. But we have a pretty nice sized, I can stick my whole finger in here, pretty nice sized compartment. Here's an 18650 battery. I just want to show you for comparison. It'll fit widthwise, FY, with even a little bit of wiggle, but won't fit lengthwise. So you're uh, not to 2032s, but your CR 123s, I think, and stuff like that should fit in here. I'm kind of guessing. And you'll have spare batteries for your optics if you need them. Or anything else, a little med kit, probably, maybe two. And, um, all right, so let's take a look at what you came here to see. Uh, and it's really this folding mechanism. Now, first of all, I do want to show you, you can see a little bit of daylight in the, in the, the, uh, the separation here in the cut there. And if I wiggle it, it might be really hard to see, but I can get it to wiggle a little. There's not a big, um, not a big wiggle. I wouldn't call it slop, but a little bit of wiggle, maybe even side to side. You know, if you make it too tight, and especially when you're making it a polymer that can expand and contract or heat, maybe even more so than metal, it's, you know, you gotta give yourself a little bit of room, otherwise it's gonna be just too tight to, to move around and fold up. So I kind of get that. I'm not sure how you would take that out unless you had like a, a spring or something. But, you know, right down here, where I really don't want any wiggles like in the trigger as opposed to the grip. I, I feel like um, a little bit of wiggle here is not gonna matter as much as it will here, because especially when you're compressing them and squeezing everything together, right, you're gonna kind of pull it forward. So I don't really feel like that's a big deal. Um, but if you're someone that really likes to take out every, um, you know, every imperfection, you know, any slop in your weapon at all, lock up the, that you might, uh, might be have an issue with it you know maybe you do competition so here is the button and what it does is it pushes out this block you can see there i was kind of wondering how deep that was but you can see it goes all the way down i thought it was actually more like a like a a t-bar or something but it's not so you push that and then oh you got to get it really far to actually unlock the thing so you're right here i can't unlock it get it there still you got to get this button flush basically now I feel it released and you can uh, open it up you can see here we have that channel cut through there so you will um, <laughs> you actually might be able to install this thing with this open or closed I think it's gonna be easier open because I'm not sure if you're gonna have uh, issues with an angled like screwdriver or Allen key to get it in there like that because I don't know if you can get the right angle on it but you can see you'll be able to see that screw up there this is all mounted together here this whole handle and now we can see in there so you don't want anything too small because anything that you store in the grip could potentially fall through that little hole there but when it's in this position it's actually locked too I did I was actually I'm surprised about that I thought it would be more like a quick slap you know the law tactical stock doesn't fold or doesn't lock into place when it's open, but it locks into place when it's closed. But this is locked into place. So you actually don't have to worry about it, which is kind of nice because if this is in a bag or something like that, and it's just just fitting, and then it opens up accidentally, you can't get it open. You gotta reach in and try to collapse it again. It's nice that it locks in both positions. I'm actually not sure exactly how the locking mechanism works in there, but it's there must be a, a cut like that and a cut the other way, I'm guessing. So kind of a recess that way and a recess this way. And you can see here, it really snaps into both positions with authority. Boom, that is locked into place. And then if I push this in, push that in, push it down, locks in place. So that's it. Uh, like I said, I'm not gonna install it because otherwise uh, you'll never see this video, but uh, pretty impressed with this thing. It's pretty cool, uh, pretty nice innovation. It's something that I was always kind of thinking about. It was um, something that I was missing especially when you're trying to come up with something that's really compact and portable, you know, for hunting, sport, target shooting, whatever, even travel, just the convenience of it. So it's just kind of a nice way to add it. And it's not expensive. Uh, you know, a, a decent polymer grip is going to be 20, 30 bucks. And this was only like 40 bucks. So uh, you're only paying like a $10 difference for additional functionality in my opinion. So check it out. If you want this, you know, um, you can get them from all over. I'll put a link to it in the description. Peter Von Panda, out. Thank <laughs> you.